Hi students, welcome to another video of Smartly Learn. In this video, we are going to see about chain rule implemented inside a UV method. So let us take an input function, x cube sine 3 x. Now let's go back to the understanding of UV. So I'm going to treat the x cube as u, the sine 3x as v. So let us write the u, the u dash, the v's and the v dash. So u is equal to x cube. So u dash is equal to 3x squared. Now let's take the v. The v is equal to sine 3x. So here is where the chain rule of v dash is going to come in. So v dash is equal to, I'm going to differentiate sine 3x, treat 3x as t. So differentiation of sine t is cos t followed by differentiation of t. So I have a 3. v dash itself is 3 cos 3x. Now let us write the final answer. So x cube sine 3x on differentiation is uv dash plus vu dash, right? So this is x cube into 3 cos 3x plus 3x squared sine 3x. Now let's arrange it nicely. So this is 3x cube cos 3x plus 3x squared sine 3x. I can take the common factors outside, which is the 3x squared. Taking that outside, this is equal to x cos 3x plus sine 3x. So this is the final answer on differentiation of x cube into sine 3x. Let's also take one more uv function, wherein I'm going to apply a chain rule. Now the input function is sine cube x cos x. So let's write the u's and the v's. I'm going to treat the sine cube x as u and the cos x as v. So u is equal to sine cube x. Now to differentiate u, here is where I'm going to apply the chain rule. Treat sine x as t, so it looks as t cube. Differentiate of t cube is 3 t squared. So this is 3 sine squared x followed by differentiation of t which is differentiation of sine x that is cos x. Now let's take the v. v is the cos x. So differentiation of cos x is minus sine x. Now let's write the final differentiation which is u v dash plus v u dash. So this is going to become sine cube x into minus sine x that is u v dash plus v u dash. So this is 3 sine squared x cos x into another cos x that is the v. Now let's arrange this nicely. I usually keep the negative terms in the end. So I'm going to write this first. So 3 sine squared x cos squared x minus sine power 4x. Now I can take the sine squared x outside. So this is sine squared x to 3 cos squared x minus sine squared x. So this simplification is not exactly mandatory. So either you can stop with this as an answer or with this as an answer. In the next video also, we will continue to see about UV methods and the chain rules implemented on them. Please extend your support to me by subscribing to my channel Smartly Learn. You can also reach out to me through my website www.smartlylearn.in for more practice worksheets. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.